Right, hello folks, just going to show you a few more of my Logo Golf Ball uh, collection. Let's get to it. So I'll start with this packet. They did come in this um, plastic wrapping, Wilson Jack. You have, to, you have to rip that open in order to get out the ball. There's no choice. But um, as you can see, Wilson, it says Jack Long. Then they're brand new balls. That's just simply because the, the plastic's been on for so long, they've got that dirt from wherever that will probably wash off so b and h benson hedges that's a tobacco brand i do not endorse smoking at all b and h is on both sides of the golf ball um yeah smoking is the most stupid thing you can do to your body so don't smoke anybody it's not cool it doesn't make you look older so let's just show you i've got three of those so i'll keep one for myself and therefore i've got now got two to um, swap or sell with other people that collect logo golf balls. Uh, like I said I've never even cleaned them so there you go I've got two of those to swap. Right next I'm going to show you um, I got the Disney Dozen. Disney Dozen 12 character balls. I I'll just quickly film the box in case there's anything of relevance. Uh, so lithium serlin cover made in USA. Right, so let's get to it. Oh God, I feel like they're quite wedged into the packaging. Mickey Mouse. Akushnet. Akushnet is the company that makes Titleist golf balls. They also make Pinnacle. And as you can see, they do have some Akushnet brandy golf balls. Um, and they also own a few other golfing companies, don't they? So in fact, it's going to be easier if I take them out one at a time. So uh, I believe that's Minnie Mouse, the female... Um, character third one uh, is that goofy I think goofy it's a long time since I've watched any cartoons with these characters so if I'm wrong about any of them I apologize next one is Pluto the dog I believe spelt the same way as the planet Pluto so all these balls should be brand new never used next is What's that? Captain Hook, is it? What film would that have been in that's a Disney film? I don't know. What film would he have been in? Next, you've got Winnie the Pooh. Young children seem to love Winnie the Pooh. It's sort of age six or under, they seem to like Winnie the Pooh anyway. Next, is that Donald Duck? That's, that one's got glasses, so is that a different character? That might not be Donald Duck. That might be an older one. Um, okay, next, now that's definitely Donald Duck, so that's Donald Duck, I don't think the other one was Donald Duck, that's Donald Duck, quack, 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 okay, next is Pinocchio, the boy that whose nose gets bigger if he lies, okay, Next, oh, that's one of the seven dwarfs, isn't it? Which character is that? Does anybody know which one has a pink hat? Which of the seven dwarfs is that? So, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Next, we have this. Is that Jiminy Cricket? Is he supposed to be a cricket insect? I think. And I don't know what cartoon he was in. So, if anybody knows, tell me if you know. Thank you. And last in this set of 12 is this elephant is that supposed to be dumbo the elephant had big elephant uh, big ears i believe that's dumbo i think there was a film called dumbo just about that so anyway there's the disney dozen uh they were not cheap oh there we go a kushnet company there you go so that's that's them uh, in the original box with the green plastic that they go in so that's that set out the way Next, separately, I just bought one Pfizer golf ball off somebody uh, because I've had the Pfizer jab. The jab you get to try and protect you against COVID-19. In England, most people were given the AstraZeneca jab and then they started saying that one in 100,000 people were dying from having the AstraZeneca jab from blood clots. And uh, fortunately, I got offered the Pfizer jab. I had my first jab um just a couple of months ago and i'm due for my second jab this month so 
Pfizer, pharmaceutical company, maker of um, some amazing products. So that's why I bought that one. That's definitely going on display for me. This is not for sale. So it's on a Titleist DT Solo. That is a keeper for me. Next, on this packet of Titleist uh, DT Wow 90s, a brand new out of the packet, as you can see. Just quickly found the packet in case anybody wants to know anything about DT Wound balls. Okay, so there's the information. No cut guarantee. Wow. Titleist Foot Joy. Yeah, Foot Joy is the uh, shoes for golfers. So, anyway, this packet of three I bought brand new from somebody. Continental Airlines. I've never flown on them myself. Um, would be happy to. Just, just simply haven't flown on them so far. Continental Airlines. So lovely logo. Unfortunately, the aviation industry has been absolutely destroyed by this COVID-19 situation. So that was a Titleist number one. Next one is a Titleist number one, the same. And the third one is also a Titleist number one. So again, I will want to keep one of these. And therefore, I've got two for swap or sale so that's continental airlines now this is a real beauty i found this is apparently i'm just going to show you the box it came in small little box like this as soon as it turned up i knew i knew it was just one golf ball and apparently this is handmade by somebody to celebrate the euro 2020 football championships tonight is the first semi-final i think it's italy against spain tonight and then tomorrow is the second semi-final which is england against denmark i think it is and it comes in this little box i don't know if the person handmade this themselves as well it does I, to be honest i don't think it's an official product i couldn't find any information online when i tried to find out about this when i saw it advertised um but here we go so somebody's come up with a replica of the euro 2020 football on a golf ball and it's genius. I have to say, they glued it down to the box, but um, I could quite easily... Hold on, I'm going to pop that out. Let's get this ball out of there so you can see it. It's not, not as easy as I thought it would be, but here we go. So that, that logo design, that is what the Euro 2020 football looks like. That coloured thing like that. Adidas football. Uniforios, I think the type of ball. So somebody's come up with a way to stick. However you do these, I don't know if it's a sticker or something, but they've stuck it onto a tailor-made, uh, tailor-made RBZ soft golf ball. Um, you can see the logo is not on both sides; it's just on that side that you'd, you'd want to put on display. But that is really good. That's definitely going on display for me. That is brilliant to me, and a. That was not cheap. That was, if you think about it, when you buy a brand new golf ball in the packet, they probably cost you three, four, maybe five pounds each. This ball with the logo, I paid three times. I paid, I think I paid at least 15 pounds for, for this. But I wanted it. So anyway, next, uh, what else we got to show you? I'm going to do, now I'm going to do a quick, small, small collection of logos I bought off somebody recently. Let's get the last one out of the packet as well. Right. Okay, here we go. This is just a few random ones I bought of somebody. So, and I have to say, one of the main reasons I bought this was this one here. I've never seen this before. It looks like a dandelion flower to me. It's on an unbranded golf ball, but does anybody know anything about this? I've never seen dandelion golf uh, dandelion on a ball like that. So that's a nice logo. The other ones I got in the collection are. Palm Springs number four. Well, that's a type of ball, isn't it? That's not actually a um, that's not a logo. What does that say? Ultimate distance, weird dimple pattern. So, Palm Springs is a new type of golf ball to me. Next, we have Pega, uh, presumably named after Pegasus, the horse, but so Strixon. It's a used ball. Don't know what that company does. Another one reason I bought this is this really nice Stagecoach logo. That is awesome to me. Um, so it's a Titleist ball. Doesn't say anything about that company, but I like that. 
next. Again, this is this is a good logo. Scorpion, look at that. Got a scorpion on it. Just about you can make out it says J Y P Y. J Y P Y. Absolutely no idea what that is. That's on a Titleist Pro V1, so that's a Blatable. Feels really nice soft cover. Don't know what that company does. That's a nice logo. Next, you got that kind of golf club logo. Uh, number two. So that is the type of ball, I believe. That is not. It's an unbranded ball. It's just got that. So don't know who makes that. Next is a Nike Mojo. Again, that's just a type of ball. That's not a logo. Uh, next, we've got this. Now, what does that say? I can't work out what that first, if that says something there where those dark black bits are, but then underneath it says P-E-N-I-N, -N, and then there might be something slightly scuffed off there. Anybody know what that is? That's on the Titleist HP Tour. Okay, a bit of a mystery one, that one to me. Uh, next... A hippo golf ball, not a particularly common type of ball at all. So that's just a type of golf ball, that is not a logo. And last, I believe that logo is La Manga Club, that's in Spain, I believe. That's on a Srix and Distance. Very good condition ball, so that's La Manga Club. Even though it doesn't say that, I'm sure I've seen that logo before. So that little collection, 369, that's 10 golf balls I bought of somebody. That's that collection there. Uh, quickly, going to show you one other little collection I've got for somebody so SeaWorld Australia um, oh they're still stuck into the box they're actually yeah I'd have to break off there I'll just show you they're on got type of golf ball gold max never heard of that before it just seems to say gold max on the ball so SeaWorld Australia I've got three of those therefore I want to keep one and I've got two for sale or swap so SeaWorld Australia really nice and with that particular person they also sold me these four these look like they're made of metal to me. Um, let's just show you what that says. Alloy golf tees. Last 20 times longer than conventional tees. Okay, so that's what they said. Uh, yeah, they're aluminium golf tees. So these should last. Four, four tees like that. They almost look like bullets, don't they? They should last a long time. So I've got those with them. And then they also, with the SeaWorld package, they sold me six of these Spalding Plus extra distance balls. These are just golf balls that don't have logos on. They're just brand new golf balls. So I might keep one for myself. And therefore I've got five of these to sell or swap. Five without any logo. Okay, so I've got five brand new of those. Oh, and the last thing to show you, this is a really good one. These are printed on Nike Distance. NDX golf balls. I've got three brand new in the packet. I'll just show you the information about that type of ball in case you want to know. Pause the video if you need to read it. Okay, so three brand new golf balls. Okay, hopefully I've filmed as much of the packet as I need to. Right, let's get these out and show you these beauties. Now, again, these were not cheap. <laughs> so they're on these Nike NDX Turbo golf balls. And wait till you see the logo. Look at that. So you've got Bill Clinton's signature and you've got President of the United States. Seal, oh, it says Seal of the President of the United States. Look at that logo. That is an absolute beauty. So Bill Clinton, that's definitely one of those is definitely going on display for me in one of my cases so i've got three of these let's just check they're all exactly the same they should be all exactly the same so yep nike number three what was the other one nike number three yeah they're all on nike number three so i've got three of these so again i will want to keep one and i've therefore got two for swap or sale cannot remember off the top of my head how much these cost but a lot more than you know five pounds each so probably quite a bit more than that so there you go That'll do for this particular video. I've still got more logos to film, but um, you get the idea. I've built quite a collection of golf balls now. Um, I must have over a thousand so far. And I'm still acquiring more. So click like if you like this video. Subscribe to me. Uh, don't forget to look at my other videos. I'll, I'll put a link in the description for you to click on to see the playlist I've made on YouTube for you to see all my other logo videos. All nicely placed together in a playlist. 
So for now, folks, thanks for watching and bye bye.